welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at the Shoes' Shin 112. I know nothing of this knife or the brand, and I found it from browsing through knife products on AliExpress. I really do not know much about Chinese knife brands beyond the big ones like Kaiser, Wee Knives, Civivi, With Armor, and Cancept, to name a few. I discovered Chinese brands like Tucson, Brother, San Renmu, and this one, Suzus, on AliExpress. The knife looked cool, reviews were good, and the price was alright, so I ordered it. It took less than a month to arrive, and here it is. Let's have a look inside. So it comes in this very plain carton, but I believe this is recycled material. We've got some product information over there. Caution sharp edge handle with care. So this is a drawer box, and then we have a normal lift-off box like that. And then we have everything inside. We have the knife wrapped in plastic, and we've got quite a bit of items inside. Uh, certificate of Authenticity, alright, quite hard to read the handwriting, that date 2022, I guess, alright, let's have a look what we have over here, this could be a product sheet, okay, so it's teaching you how to use a flipper uh, tab and then how to close the liner lock. And then uh, some general information about the knife. And you can even register your knife. Uh, okay. And finally, this is a sticker. No, this is just kind of a... Again, just some product information. This is well, this is really tiny. But basically, uh, it's about you know special attention for your knife. And we do get some microfiber cloth. Uh, something a lot of the Chinese companies do give. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. And let's have a look at the knife. So let's get that out of the plastic and move this. So here we have the knife. It's uh, quite a large knife. And it's got a Tanto style blade. Pretty good. Well, before we get to the specs, let's do a size comparison with some other knives. Let's start off with the other Tanto that I have. And this is the Cold Steel Airlight Tanto. So it's about the same size. Uh, I think maybe the shoes this is a slightly larger. I've got a Tucson TS21. That's not a Tanto, but again, just roughly the same size. Uh, I've got a Conspirator. That's a Civivi knife. So again, uh, this is just a drop point, but again, size comparison because the Conspirator is quite a large knife. And finally, as always, an Altoids tin. Here's a quick look at the specs of the Shoes' Shin 112. The blade length is 3.14 inches or 8cm. The handle is 4.69 inches or 11.9cm. And the overall length is 8.23 inches or 20.8cm. The blade width is 1.04 inches or 2.65cm. And the blade thickness is 3mm. So it's a nice hefty blade. The weight is about 124 grams or 4.37 ounces. So the blade style is an American Tanto with a swedge and some jimping over here. So it is a strong blade because it's quite thick and with this design, it's got a strong tip for stabbing. Not sure who you want to stab, but it's there for you. The grind is a full flat grind and there is a sharpening choil over here. The blade steel, it's written here, I believe, right? On the knife if you can see let's try to get it in the light so that's sanvik 14 c 28 n and this is heat treated to hardness of 59 hrc so 14 c 28 n steel also known as sanvik 14 c 28 n steel is stainless steel made by sanvik a european steel company based in sweden now it's mainly used to make knives as it's high in chromium that is great corrosion resistance now 14 c 28 and also offers excellent hardness and corrosion resistance because of the nitrogen in its composition. So this is quite special. So this is unlike other steel types which use carbon to boost the hardness. The steel is easy to work with, so it reduces the cost of production and hence allows for the manufacture of affordable knives. So the pivot system here, it's a double row ball bearing. So the action is actually pretty good. 
you get a very solid lock due to the heft of the blade there's no up and down blade play little bit of flex uh, left and right the liner lock is the locking mechanism so you just push that to the side in order to close the blade and there are stainless steel liners on the inside and there are, there's a roll of holes on both sides now it's drilled out to reduce weight there's a good detent ball that holds the blade shut and it almost sucks it in as you can see let's see yeah and that holds it in very well the handle material is linen micata and this is the black you can also get it in green i believe the design of the handles are supposed to look like the wrap of a japanese sword this is in line with the tanto style blade so you could at least say that this knife is japanese or asian inspired in aesthetic design the hardware uses Tox T8 over here and T6 over here. There is a pocket clip for tip-up carry. It's non-reversible, so this is really designed more for the right-hander. There's a backspacer that also allows for a lanyard to be put in, and this lanyard comes with the knife. Now, that looks like it's going to be very difficult to switch out unless you disassemble the knife. In terms of ergos, the handle is pretty good with the contouring for the finger grooves. There's no hotspot caused by the pocket clip and you can use your thumb on the jimping to choke up a bit on the knife for final work. So does the Shoes' Shin 112 make for a good urban EDC? First, I think the branding for the knife is not that good for the international market. The name Shoes is hard to say and doesn't sound or look like a knife brand. It doesn't even translate to anything in Chinese unless this is a strange angle-sized version of Suzi or something, but that should not end with a Z as well. Shoes looks and sounds like a toy line and Shin 112 is also hard for non-Chinese speaking people to say because of the X. I think a name change will actually help the brand and sales, at least for the international market. But back to the knife. The knife costs around US $38 depending on currency rates. I bought it through AliExpress. It is not expensive considering the size, the blade steel, the materials and the overall design. If this knife were to come from a well-known brand coming out of the West, it would probably cost closer to $100. Size-wise is a bit too big for me uh, to EDC it. I generally prefer you know, blades that are around 3 inches for an urban EDC. However, this will make for a great utility knife with a nice feel and the heft. The Tanto blade will make for good draw cuts, so that will be very easy. And I'm sure it can perform most EDC tasks and even outdoor tasks as well. I'll actually be giving this as a gift to someone who could use it as an outdoor folder. If you're looking for a modern looking knife, that has an Asian inspired look and don't mind the name, this is a value for money purchase. You get an interesting knife that is tough and functional. But let me know what you think about this Shin 112. Do you like the name and do you like the knife? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and as usual, keep it folded Keep it safe.